Hello and welcome to the IDG Entrepreneur Spotlight. Today I'm joined by Jessica Billingsley, Managing Partner for Y Ventures, a YPO-led venture capital fund. Y Ventures funds early stage frontier technology companies and supports them with exclusive market intelligence, technical expertise, and business resources. Jessica, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thanks for having me. It's fun to be here. Jessica, you are a very busy person. In addition to being the managing partner of Y Ventures, you're also a mentor, founder, CEO, public speaker, <laughs> investor, uh, board member, and contributor to Entrepreneur and Rolling Stone magazines. When exactly do you sleep? <laughs> hey, actually, I've learned that sleep is a lot more important, but maybe that's part of the aging process. I found oh, I can perhaps. get more done when I'm sleeping <laughs> a little more. Well, you obviously still get a lot done. On that note, I'm just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became involved with Frontier Technology specifically. Sure thing. Sure thing. So my background is actually technical. I have a computer science degree and i I founded and, and had multiple successful exits from companies I founded. And most recently, I founded a software as a service business, which we took public on NASDAQ uh, and have since announced our sale to a strategic. Uh, you mentioned my public and private board service uh, and my role as managing partner of Y Ventures. And I am also uh, US FINRA securities licensed. But what exactly is Frontier Technology and how should we be thinking about this category? So in general, it, frontier technology is almost the, maybe call it the newest term for what we used to call disruptive technology. And, and before that, maybe it was just called new technology. And uh, and, and back when uh, I think it was uh, uh, Mark Andreessen who said software is eating the world, it, this is the evolution of, okay, well, what then, you know, some things become beyond software. And so frontier technology is now this really this larger category. And I, I define it as what will connect the businesses and the consumers of tomorrow. What is the, the next evolution of not only the internet, but the ways in which we interact with each other in our world and how that is enabled by technology. And that, that's a broad category. So maybe some uh, good examples. We're talking about AI and machine learning, uh, virtual and augmented reality, uh, blockchain uh, enabled, uh, smart contracts, certainly um, quantum computing, there's a, there's a whole category of new pieces of tech that will help businesses do business tomorrow and ways in which consumers will interact with each other and with businesses. Wow. Those are all very large categories unto themselves uh, with all of them undergoing rapid evolution, you know, all at the same time. It's so true. And yet... There's the big foundational concepts for the new category. And then within that category, it, some of it is just, hey, the ways we do business. So for instance, at our Y Ventures Fund, we're really focused on infrastructure. It's a classic picks and shovels, pipes and plumbing play. We understand what businesses will use to connect with each other. We understand what technology will drive consumers interacting. And, and maybe another way to, to think about that is, hey, we understand the next snowflakes of the world that are providing this backend architecture on which lots of other businesses depend and are running, but we don't necessarily think that we can pick what will be the next Fortnite video game success. Right. Oh, well, we'd all love to be able to figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, true story. My, my worst investment decision I have ever made, I passed on Twitch very, Ooh. very early on. Really? Oh, yeah, that that stings a little bit. <laughs> I guess along that vein, where do you think the most compelling opportunities currently lie in frontier technology? And how do you do due diligence on those, you know, that, that you think will succeed? Certainly. So, so a couple pieces, I, I mentioned this infrastructure piece, I really look for companies that are more than just, hey, they have to really hit fit and adoption. So we think a lot about hey, does it have traction? Are there people using this? What is product market fit? What are the barriers to adoption? How, you know, wh who are the incumbents? 
and how seriously and how many resources do they have to block this as we think about the diligence process. Also, a really great way to participate in frontier technology is to invest in a fund because in that way you can with one investment be and participate in many, many, many different investments and have a much greater chance of that that hit rate and, and more consistent returns versus being able to pick one-off investments. Right. Obviously, I think, yeah, for a lot of investors, that's a, a better strategy in this space, especially if they're not deeply familiar with it as, say, you know, someone like you is, but don't want to miss out on those big opportunities as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, we've got, we're affiliated with a YPO network of YPOs that are interested in frontier technology. Uh, YPO represents uh, people who have the highest title in their organization, whether that's CEO, president, chairman, and businesses that are doing at least 15 million in revenue, at least 80 employees. So we're talking about really big numbers and of our members and the people who are interested in frontier tech. They feed our funnel of opportunities we also have an alpha scraper, and then we have a very, very concerted diligence process around first they come on our podcast and then we look further into the tech. And if they make it all the way through our funnel, we ultimately s- select maybe our high pipe of less than 2% wow. of all opportunities that we look at. Oh, that's, that sounds like a, a very, uh, a, a very uh, strong process that would deliver some very interesting companies and obviously some good opportunities. Um, last question on maybe more on a personal side, how do you stay up to date on all these trends? <laughs> that's a great question. So I hate a few things. I read and listen voraciously. I also try... I, I mentioned Twitch. (laughs) I try to really talk to younger people as well to understand what things are they using every day that maybe I'm not using. It helps uh, to have kids that are that age. That's certainly a benefit for me, Uh, but also just having a few different focus groups and groups that you can go to sort of different age brackets and asking, Hey, what, what are you actually using today? And what problem would you love to solve if there were a solution? And really remembering, I think it's so important to remember that more than two thirds of the world is under the age of 35. Right. That's, yeah, it's, you know, you're right. This is going to give me a, 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 a new reason to talk to my 14 year old and all her friends and <laughs> see what they're using. I can barely understand the language that they speak. So that's impressive that you're able to, to gather this kind of data from them, but that's a, that's actually a very, very smart strategy. You must also be listening to things while you're sleeping because there's no way you're reading that much and, uh, <laughs> and sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you really just have to double up on things in the car, doing laundry. Yes, that's so out. true. Yeah. <laughs> that's so true. Well, thank you so much for this chat, Jessica. It was really interesting to learn more about Frontier Technology. Obviously, uh, I've learned a lot here today. How can people get connect with you if they want more information? Uh, so Jessica at yventures.vc, uh, my direct email address. Uh, also, you can visit me on LinkedIn uh, at Jessica Billingsley. Sounds great. Well, hopefully we'll get to chat again soon and uh, hear about even, even more interesting new developments in the world of technology. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. Bye for now. Yeah.